Block. Welcome to lesson on e-survey lists related to block. Block and attribute blocks are very important part of most of the survey drawing. Lists in this section related to block management can save considerable drawing editing time. Insert blocks at ends and intersections. If you want to insert many blocks in the drawing depending on existing polylines in the drawings, use IBEI command. IBEI prompts you to select either at end points or intersection point or both. Depending on the selection, specified block will be inserted. Insert block in between two selected points in the angle of selection. When creating topographic drawings, many a times it is required to show the same block with different angles and scale. For example, when an urban survey is done, almost each compound will have a gate and the gates will be of different sizes. Hence the gate blocks have to be shown at each place with a different scale and rotation angle. In such cases, using ISB command, blocks can be inserted between two selected points in the angle of a selected points. Insert block at insertion point of all selected texts or points. Using INB command, blocks can be inserted at the insertion point of all selected text entities and points. Change blocks in the drawing with new blocks and scale factor. Using the BLR command, blocks can be replaced very quickly along with the scaling with alternative blocks. Change layer of all the blocks of one type to specified layer. To quickly move all the blocks of specified block name to another layer, CBL command can be used. By moving it to separate layer, editing becomes easy. Change layer of all the blocks in the drawing in the layer of block. With CBL command, a specific type of block can be moved to the specified layer. If you want to move all the blocks in the drawing with layers referring the block name, CBB command can be used. Let us say there are 100 blocks in the drawing with 9 different names. When you give CBB command, List will create all 9 layers from block names and move all the blocks with specific block names to their respective layer. Export and import attribute information. Attribute blocks in CAD are very useful to store data with drawing objects. But editing attribute block is cubesome when there are many blocks. Also, if the attribute information is available in tabular format, it will be handy for data exchange. Using EXA command, you can export the attribute information. When you specify the attribute block name, attribute information will be exported to a file attribinfo.csv in temporary directory. This file can be further used for editing or data exchange. Note that EXA command exports insertion point of the attribute block that is X, Y and Z coordinate value along with the attribute information. After editing data using IMA command, attributes can be imported back to same position with new data as insertion point information is also available. Thank you. In the next section, you will learn about lists related to entity selection.